Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Harsha Mani Khan. This is the last video on probability. Last video I have explained you two problems on Bayes theorem. In this video 13th and 14th, these two are the last problems on Bayes theorem I am going to explain. So if you want the perfect knowledge, watch all the videos from beginning till and don't skip in between if you want the perfect knowledge. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject statistics for management. Select the videos of probability. Be thorough on the concepts. Then only you should come to the problems. So before starting 13th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points of 13th and 14th problem. Then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the 13th one. In a bond factory, M1, M2, M3 machines manufacture 25, 35 and 40% of total output. That means in, the, in this factory, bolt manufacturing factory. So in this factory, three machines are there, M1, M2, M3. The output of M1 was 25% and output of M2 was 35% and the output of M3 is 40%. Out of this output, 5, 4 and 2% are defective bolts. That means M1 machine will make 5% defective bolts. M2 machine will make 4% defective bolts. And M3 machine will make 2% defective bolts. That means the proportion defective is different for M1, M2 and M3. One bolt is drawn at random from the product and is found to be defective. So randomly we have taken one bolt and found that bolt to be defective. What is the probability that it is manufactured by machine M1, M2 and M3? So finally we have selected one bolt and that bolt found to be defective. What is the probability that this defective bolt is coming from machine 1 or machine 2 or machine 3? Simply we can say we have to calculate probability of M1 given B, M2 given B or M3 given B. B means defective bolt. So first of all, before starting, we should give the notations. The notations will give A1, A2, A3. A1 is the event that the bolt is produced by M1 machine. A2 is the event that the bolt is produced by machine M2. And A3 is the event that the bolt is produced by machine M3 and B is the event that the bolt is a defective bolt like this A1, A2, A3, B these are the events uh, these are the notations we are given now prior probability how many how much proportion of bolts are produced by M1 machine the P of A1 probability that the bolt is produced by machine M1 is 25% given the problem Probability that the bolt is produced by machine M2. M2 is denoted as A2. The P of A2 is 35%. 0.35. Similarly, probability that the bolt is produced by machine M3. That is A3. We have denoted it as A3. The P of A3 is 40%. 0.4. If you add up the prior probabilities, always it should be 1. So 0 0.25, 0 0.35 plus 0 0.4, you will get 1. That's all. Now, conditional probability. <clears throat> conditional probability means what is the uh, percentage of defective produced by M1, percentage of defective produced by M2, and percentage defective produced by M3. So, conditional probability P of B given A1. That means prob probability of defective bolt produced by M1 machine. M1 is denoted as A1. It is 5%. 0.05. Similarly, proportion of defective bolts produced by A2, M2 is 4%, 0.04. Probability of defective bolt produced by third machine, A3, P of B given A3 is 2%. These are the conditional probability. Next step, we have to find out the joint probability. Multiply the prior probability with conditional probability. So, P of A1 into P of B given A1. 
तो 0.25 into 0.05 you'll get 0.0125. Similarly, P of A2 into P of B given A2. तो 0.35 into 0.04 is 0.0140. Third, P of A3 into P of B given A3. तो 0.4 into 0.02 you'll get 0.008. Right? If you add up the total of joint probability, you are getting 0.0345. That's all. Now we can easily attempt the three questions. What is the probability that the defective bolt is coming from M1 machine? Probability that the bolt is produced by M1 machine given that it is a defective bolt. So P of A1 given A1 stands for the event that the bolt is coming from M1 machine. And B given that it is a defective bolt. So P of A1 given B, the formula is joint probability divided by sum of the joint probability. The joint probability is P of A1 into P of B given A1. That is the joint probability. Now sum of the joint probability means total of all these. Total sum uh, add up all the three. P of A1 into P of B given A1 plus P of A2 into P of B given A2 plus P of A3 into P of B given A3. The total of these joint probabilities are 0 0.0345. And the joint probability of first one is 0 0.0125. So 0 0.0125 divided by 0 0.0345, 0 0.36. First question complete. The probability that the bolt is coming from machine M1, given that it is a defective bolt, is 0.36. Second question. What is the probability that the bolt is produced by machine M2, given that it is a defective bolt? That means P of A2 given B. So P of A2 given B, joint probability, P of A2 into P of B given A2. That is a numerator. Denominator, same denominator, the sum of the all the joint probabilities. Whatever denominator we have taken here, the same denominator you copy it. Right? The total sum of the joint probabilities are 0 0.0345 and numerator 0 0.0140. So 0 0.0140 divided by 0 0.0345, 0 0.41. That's all. This 0.41 is the probability that the bolt is coming from M2 machine. Similarly, third case. One bolt, what is the probability that the bolt is coming from machine M3 given that it is a defective bolt? So P of A3 given B. So P of A3 given B. P of A3 into P of B given A3. Joint probability. Divided by some of the joint probability, same denominator, no change. So here, 0 0.008 divided by 0 0.0345, 0 0.23, that's all. 0.23 is the probability that the bolt is coming from machine M3, given that it is a defective bolt. Now, to verify whether our calculations are correct or not, always the posterior probability must be equal to 1. So if you are about to add up 0.36 plus 0.41 plus 0.23, you must get 1. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 13. Last and final problem, problem number 14. <clears throat> a factory produces a certain type of output by three different machines. Just like the previous problem, the company, the factory is producing three types of output by using three types of machines. The respective daily production figures are machine A will produce 3000 units. Machine B will produce 2,500 units and machine C will make 4,500 units. These are the daily output from machine A, B and C. So if you take the total output, 3000 plus 2500 plus 4500, it comes to 10,000 units. So every day, 10,000 units are produced out of 10,000 to 3,000 are by A machine. Then 2,500 are produced by B machine and 4,500 are produced by C machine. The past experience shows that 1% of the output produced by machine A is defective. That means defective produced by machine A, B and C. All the machines are also making defective products. 1% is defective from machine A. The corresponding figures for the fraction defectives of the other two machines are 1.2% and 2% respectively. 
that means the percentage of defective item produced by A machine is 1%, B machine 1.2% and C machine 2%. These are the conditional probabilities. An item is drawn at random from the day's production and is found to be defective. What is the probability that it comes from output of machine A or machine B or machine C? Exactly similar to the last problem. So we are given the uh, prior probabilities and also the conditional probability. We have to multiply and find out the joint probability. Before that, we will give the notation A1, A2, A3. Let us denote A1, event that the output is produced by machine A and A2 output of machine B and A3 output produced by machine C. So machine A, B, C we have denoted as A1, A2, A3 and B the unit produced is defective. The B is the event that the unit produced is a defective unit. These are the notations. Now prior probabilities. Prior probabilities are out of total of 10,000 units 3000 units are produced by machine A. That means P of A1 is 3000 out of 10,000. That means the proportion, the probability that the unit is produced by machine A is 3000 by 10,000, 0.3. 0.3 is the probability that the output is produced by machine A. Similarly, machine B. In machine B, P of A2, that is 2500 by 10,000, 0.25 and the output produced by C machine is 4500. So 4500 by 10,000, you will get 0.45. These are the prior probability. Always the prior probability must also be equal to 1. Now check 0.30 plus 0.25 plus 0.45, you will get 1 prior probability. Now conditional probabilities. What is the defective output by A machine, B machine, C machine? So condition P of B given A1. That means defective item produced by machine A. It is given 1%. 1% 1 means 0 0.01. Similarly, what is the defective item produced by machine B? That is P of B given A2. 1.2%. 1 1.2 1 means 0 0.012. Similarly, the defective item produced by machine C, P of B given A3, is 2%, 0 0.02. These are the conditional probability. Now we multiply the prior probability with conditional probability. P of A1 into P of B given A1. <clears throat> so 0 0.30 into 0 0.01, you will get 0 0.003. That is the joint probability of first case. Second case, probability P of A2 into P of B given A2. So 0 0.25 into 0 0.012, you will get 0 0.003. Similarly, P of A3 into P of B given A3. So 0 0.45 into 0 0.02, you will get 0 0.009. We have calculated the joint probability and we calculate the total of the joint probability. The total of the joint probability is 0 0.015. That's all. Now easily we can attempt one by one question. The first question. An item is selected at random and happens to be defective. An item is selected at random and it happens to be defective. What is the probability that this defective item is coming from machine A? Simple words, P of A1 given B. P of A1 given B, this is what we have to calculate. So P of A1 given B, joint probability divided by sum of the joint probability. A1 given B is equal to P of A1 into P of B given A1 divided by sum of the joint probability you have to add up all P of A1 into P of B given A1 plus P of A2 into P of B given A2 plus P of A3 into P of B given A3 all the joint probabilities we have to add up the total of the joint probability are coming 0 0.015 this is the denominator numerator P of A1 into P of B given A1 0.003 so 0 0.003 divided by 0 0.015, you get 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 is the probability that the defective item is coming from machine A. Similarly, second case, an item is selected at random and happens to be defective. What is the probability that it is coming from machine B? 
that means we have to find out p of a2 given b so p of a2 given b joint probability divided by sum of the joint probability joint probability p of a2 into p of b given a2 so p of a2 into p of b given a2 is 0 0.003 0 0.003 denominator same whatever denominator sum of the joint probability you have taken the same denominator 0 0.015 the so 0 0.003 divided by 0 0.015, 0 0.2. The so 0.2 is the probability that the item selected at random is coming from machine B. Last one. An item is selected at random and happens to be defective. What is the probability that it is coming from C machine? C means A3. That means P of A3 given B. So P of A3 given B, joint probability divided by sum of the joint probability. P of A3 into p of b given a3 so here we have p of a3 into p of b given a3 is 0 0.009 0 0.009 denominator is same for every case denominator is the sum of the joint probability the sum of the joint probability is 0 0.015 so 0 0.6 is the probability that the item selected at random happens to be defective is coming from machine c so now you confirm whether we have done correctly or not the total of the posterior probabilities always must be equal to 1. So you can see 0.2 plus 0.2 plus 0.6. It is equal to 1. That means our calculations are correct. That's all. So totally 14 problems I have explained you on the topic of probability. Inshallah in the next video I will start unit number 2. Where theoretical distribution we will have. Probability distribution. By applying binomial theorem and Poisson theorem and normal distribution. Binomial, Poisson and normal. These three distribution will take up in the next unit. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video. Share my channel among your groups, among your friend circles so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed my channel. And buy the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we will continue the next topic in the next video.